we are. <laughs> now giving everybody time to get uh, uh, together, uh, tune in. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Neil's Live from Home. Cheers. I got my beverage. I hope you have a nice glass of wine or a cocktail ready. And we're going to have some fun tonight. Mm. I almost had a big trouble because our air condition went out during the afternoon. And I was just getting ready for the show and it was getting hotter and hotter and hotter. And I said, man, I might have to perform in my shorts. Um... With a, with a wet rug around my head or something. Um, and uh, typically I said they would call the uh, repair guy. And as soon as he confirmed, the air conditioner kicked back on. So I canceled him. And then the air conditioner stopped again. Tried to call him back and they were closed. And now it turned back on. So <laughs> let's just hope it stays on. Otherwise we're going to have to cut it short or kind of melt away. It's getting hot out there, isn't it? Summer is certainly here. I hope you guys having uh, uh, staying cool, having a nice beverage ready. Let me just start with a, a little song from my previous record, a nine to five from the Cold Shades, uh, Cool Shades album. Cold Shades, yeah. <laughs>
9 to 5, a little bit to wake up. How is everybody? Thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, what's going on in my life? I'm just getting ready to head out to Nashville next week. I'm going to play the Fisk Festival. Uh, it's a um, festival sponsored by the University of Nashville. Uh, really looking forward to it. My buddy Johnny Britt is on the same bill. So we're going to have some fun over there. And, um, and yeah, other than that, we've been babysitting little Bear. I don't know if you guys met Bear yet. I, I did introduce him. He's too shy. He doesn't want to come up on camera right now. i got to put a little doggy cam on him or something so we get some extra Bear footage. And, uh, yeah, just trying to stay cool, really. <laughs> uh, but we have more shows coming up. I'm uh, going to be in, in Buffalo on... Uh, August uh, 4th and then uh, we're going to be in Rancho Cucamonga again on um, mid of August. I have I have to bring the dates up on the next show uh, which is going to be in two weeks since next week I'm going to be in Nashville. I'll have all the dates posted but you always can go back to Neil's Music and find uh, the tour dates. I will post them this weekend all the new shows I have lined up. Okay. Uh, cheers, everybody. Mm. I have another song lined up here. That's from the new album, Feeling Good. And uh, this one is called Moving to Town. Ah, that was less than promising. What's going on? Why did it stop? Let me try this again.
still have to figure out how to end this properly. <laughs> so these are new songs from the record. And we haven't played this one live yet. We will play this live at Spaghetti. So um, that's September 22nd. Uh, that's a, uh, my next uh, full band concert with my LA band. And we're definitely going to do that track at Spaghetti. I'm really looking forward to that show. Uh, tickets are already on sale for that stuff. So go to nilsmusic.com and uh, uh, go to the tour calendar with those ticket links there. Make, make sure you get a seat. Um, always appreciate the support. You can also, um, if you like the show, put some money in the tip jar or download some songs or jam track. Um, every little bit helps and I always appreciate the support. There's so many of you that are getting into my music and getting into the show and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I um, want to slow it down a little bit of song. I always love playing. I haven't played this in a while. Uh, this is from the Alley Cat CD. And um, this is one of the songs I wrote in the car, or at least the main idea came in the car. I was driving and I heard it in my head and I was making sure I get home right away so I don't forget it. It's one of these things. Uh, and that's what I came up with.
Oh, that's a fun track. It's a fun track. Yeah, thanks for letting me rock out there a little bit. Um, mm, talking about rocking out. How about a little Hendrix for you all? Hmm? It's, it's also from the Cool Shades album. playing um i i um i came up 
the idea of doing that song is I, I watched uh, a, a Jimi Hendrix documentary and uh, the challenge was that this song I had to rearrange it to give it something extra because it is really the same four chords over and over or actually no, five chords but um, to give it different sections I had to kind of like cut certain things off and do some uh, chordal substitutions and you know give it a little another flair so it's a, a jazzy interpretation of it um, but it's always it's always fun to if you do if you do an instrumental you got to do it give it some you know something of your own something different uh, if you're doing a cover that's what I'd rather say um, and so is this next song I'm going to play for you tonight uh, this is also a cover. This is also the current single, which went into the top 10. Uh, we were number 7 this week, so let's hope we keep on moving up. This is... That's the way the world.
love that song. Love the track. Yeah. Um, just took me 13 albums till I do an Earth, Wind, and Fire track. Huh? It's one of my favorite bands. I mean, hands down, hands down. Um, this next track goes back a little bit. Um, and um, this is from the What the Funk CD, which in itself is a great track. Um, but this one is um, was actually my longest number one song, Longer Than Pacific Coast Highway. You know, the, it was a, young, a song of the year. What was it, 2012 or 2011, something like that? And it was, I think it was almost four, mo four, one, four months, number one. For three months, it was 12 weeks, 12, 13 weeks, something like that, ridiculous. Um, but we didn't have as many radio stations anymore by then. So that's why it never accumulated as many spins as Pacific Coast Highway did. Um, Pacific Coast Highway being the most played song on smooth jazz radio uh, since the year 2000. For that reason, it was song of the decade. And then after that decade, half the radio stations went away. So today, if you have a number one hit, you get maybe played 300 times a week, something like that, 250, 300. Uh, Pacific Coast Highway got played almost 800 times a week back then. So it accumulated a lot of, a lot of spins. And to this day, it uh, remained a classic. Um, and uh, yeah, certainly put a whole other trajectory of my, uh, on my career. Um, anyways, I have this last song for you guys. Uh, this is going to be called, uh, this is going to call, ah, God, come on, it's getting hot today, you know. It's called Jumpstart. Cheers. Maybe a drink will help. Mm. And um, and then I'll be back in two weeks uh, with another show. So next week I'm at the uh, Fisk Jazz Festival in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, if you are in Tennessee, please come out and see. It's a free festival. It's a big one. So come on out and see us. Um, but... Um, for all you other guys you want to just tune in back in two weeks i'll be back and uh, anybody wanting to support the show put some money in the tip jar with links are below or go to the website download a cd or get yourself some jam tracks this music that i'm playing along to i'm calling them jam tracks and i'm selling all my music without my lead guitar so you guys if you're a musician can play along with it okay so um, let's have some fun. This one is called Jumpstart. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
Look at the footage. This is from I was so young back then. Yeah, yeah this is from over a decade ago again. God, time flies when you're having fun, isn't it? Oh man. Thanks guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'll come back in two weeks. I'll be here with another show. And uh, you know, try to stay cool. Summer is here. I know there's a heat dome in some areas. Uh, and trust me, LA. We might not have an unusual heat dome like, like some other areas, but it's freaking hot. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. I'm so glad the air condition kicked back in because it was brutal before, I tell you. Hey, you guys have a good one. Uh, go to neilsmusic.com, check out some music, check out my, uh, my tour dates, and um, I will see you guys in two weeks. In the meantime... Uh, you help take care. Now I'm not uh, lined up to my thing. Hold on. Uh, where's my end? Was number nine. See, I gotta find ways around to end this show because some of that that gear I had to find workarounds. Um, till next week, uh, two weeks, I guess. Mm -hmm.